Hello everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to more The Walking Dead. Now, the last episode, we have, we decided, in a really crazy way, to, uh, to sneak in, into Crawford. The, uh, the ultimate survivor colony, right? That they've sealed off from the rest of Savannah, and, well, everyone. And only the... Only the fittest are allowed. Now, came across, after going through the uh, the bunker underground, we came across a number of survivors that were holed up there. And they were also people from Crawford, but they weren't, they weren't the crazies, right? They were, they were people that were, uh, they were, well, yeah, basically they were they were all cancer survivors, right? So the the whole idea of Crawford was well not in favor of them. So they snuck out or they left and they've been living underground. And they've been doing fine apparently. And their their leader Vernon, he's a doctor, a great guy, right? Uh He's been, he's been trying to take care of them, and they seem to be doing okay, all things considered, right? But uh, Vernon's helped us now. Now, we've teamed up, and we've all decided to get in, pull a heist for Crawford, get in there, take their medicine, get gas, and get a battery, because we found a boat. Well, we didn't find a boat. Clementine found a boat in the shed outside of the house. That we were kind of holding up at. So it's been a pretty, uh, it's been a pretty uh, fruitful, fruitful day. Everything, everything considered, right? So we got the gas, we got a battery. Molly has the battery. Molly's giving me some very suspicious vibes, and I'm not really sure what's going on. Right. She wants to ride off on the boat. So I don't think she'll probably steal the battery because she still does want to get out of here. But she's holding on to the battery for leverage. <laughs> now, we're looking for the rest of the medicine so that not only we can help our people, but Vernon can take it back and help his. So it's really a win-win for everybody. Um, big thing being that Crawford is now infected. Crawford could not escape the uh, the virus, the infection. They couldn't escape it. And so far, everyone we've come across since being here has been a walker. So it's a bit ironic, right? But right now, we have to look around, find a passcode to the safe. Or, it's not a safe, but it's a lock. Locked cabinet. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. Just because that's where all the medical supplies are, and if we can get them, then we're good. Then we bounce. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Oh, yeah. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Unfortunately... Not working. Not surprised. Phones probably haven't worked in months. True. Looks like some kind of medical file. Take a look. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? And a tape. Curious. It's a medical file for a woman named Correa. Correa. Huh. Which I would assume is one of the people they were trying to take care of here at some point. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Oof. About Molly, about Omid. Thank you for coming with us. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't 
Don't worry, she'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. As a... Yeah, I could see that. Uh, that's how she survived this long. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Okay. Hey, Doc, uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. <laughs> I'll go see if I can uh. find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Oh, Vernon. Thanks, man. Okay, is there anything... Ooh. Interesting. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I could see old evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. Holy Let shit. Let me give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Holy shit. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. Uh -huh. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Uh -huh. Maybe you should search him, see what he's got on him. Yep. Um, I don't want to say that that seemed like Molly, but that was definitely the doctor that, uh, she killed the walker and threw him off the roof and then started beating the hell out of him. So I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, Anna Correa was actually Molly. And, uh, or being pissed at the doc for all that makes uh, makes a lot of sense. It all makes uh, sense. Already cleaned out. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Okay, I was just asking. Damn. There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? Oh. Uh, well, that's... That doesn't seem good. What's this on the floor? Oh, shit. It's a sonogram. Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. No tape inside. All right, well, I guess best to go back to the alley and fish around in Doc's pockets. I... I really wouldn't be surprised if that was actually... 
That was actually her. And, I mean, rightfully pissed at the dog, especially saying, like, you know, sorry. You tell him or I tell him. That's it. And he's not gonna like it. Ugh. It's gonna be a little bit tighter because they're all kind of swarming out there. Okay. Yeah. Where did Molly get? Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Jesus. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that worked out nicely. goes yeah 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 got a tape on you by chance this might be just what we need What's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Oh shit. It was Logan's shit. locker. Time to go. <laughs> Get out of there. Holy shit. So we. Okay. That's so convenient. Hell yeah. Logan. This must have been his locker. Safe combination has got to be on one of these. Well, that's unexpected. I didn't expect a second tape. Or a third tape, I guess, technically. This is... This is going to be interesting. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Watching them all. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living, if this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Oh, shit. No. 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 Oh my god. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Shit. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's Great. go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. <sighs> oh, no. I want to watch the third tape.
This is, uh, this sucks. That's a damn. It's Anna Correa. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Okay. Shit. Well, shit. I agree. Okay, so that makes so much more sense because her voice didn't match at all. So Anna Correa couldn't couldn't have possibly been Molly. Luckily, thank God. It's not a very solid theory, but <sighs> wow. So she had a deal uh, in exchange for medicine to uh, help her sister. And then the doc uh, cut her off, said, nope, can't do it anymore. And I guess it's more what she got equally just as pissed. At the... But that, was that the turning point? I feel like we're missing something still. Mm. Well, yeah, it pissed her off, but to to get that furious. Right? I mean, we'll see. But we're the only ones that saw that tape. Everyone else left already. So. Only, uh. Only we know the real situation with Molly. Jesus Christ! Oh my god. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery down. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> ah, such a good joke. Here so good. Go. Ugh. What's that? Nothing. I know you're from Crawford. You lied to me. Forget it. Just... You can quit with the Ag Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. Oh. Shit. This is all I have left of her. I didn't that have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. It's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Um. Who? A 
What the fuck? Oh, oh Jesus! Trip. Good there. God! Damn. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, no. Ben? Where did you get that? I Are just you... found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh no. Oh, shit! Ben? Oh my god. Shoot this fucker! Thanks. It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Oh, oh. Thanks. oh my god. Nice, nice one, Clementine. Holy shit. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sure, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Damn it, Ben. Come on, damn you! I just found this in the door. I swear to God. This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Are you shitting me? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, oh. this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? Are you shitting me? It's me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Oh, God, what are you doing, dude? Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Yep. Uh, can he calm down as a snake? Kenny, man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. We gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pissant! You're fucking dead. You hear me, Dad? My wife and child? You gotta both fucking kill. Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go. Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking oh, mind! Put it to a vote, you hear me, Sigbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you <sighs> put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. You're part of this of group. Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? Really? Ben stays with us. We cut him loose. I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? Oh my god. Oh shit. Now can oh we go? Oh my god. Damn right. Vernon, come on. That happened so fast. So much for the armory. Damn door shut. A few rounds. That's it. It's you didn't useless. close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. This is, uh... Oh, God. Oh, nope, close it. Fuck! That's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Oh, God. Lee, look! Nice. Okay. Cool. 
Great. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Shit. Oh god. Nope, 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 nope. Shit. Alright. I'll get that leg out. Come on. We can do it again. Come on. Oh my god. Jesus. Let's go. Okay, cool. That works. Oh, get him. Hell yeah. Let's go. Get wrecked. Oh, kick. Axe. Another one. <laughs> All right. Come on. Okay. It's all right, Cliff. I'm fine. Everything's safe. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go! Go! Oh, I hate this. Come on, let's go! Yeah, Ben, we gotta go, man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hold on, Ben. I've got you! Okay, come on. Hold Climb up. up. Come on, you can do it! There's no time. You have to go now. Ben. Quit fucking around, Ben. Come on. Let go, damn it. Get Clem and the others out of here. Fucking. <sighs> Ah, god damn it. We, we both know. Let me go. <sighs> god damn it. Krista? Uh, Everything okay? Oh, me! Stay away from him and stay back. Is he dead? Hold on. Is he... dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! So I was like, is he dead? Hey. Verify. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. Thanks a lot. Not in front of Clementine. She'll understand. Nice going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to. But I don't expect Clementine to understand that. Hell, I don't want her to understand it. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. I'm gonna go start work on the boat.
Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Oh? Sorry about Bree. Thanks for your help. Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. Okay. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Ugh. Ugh. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. Um, you should come with us. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Ah, damn it. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Ah. Uh. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? I don't know. Wherever he says, someplace else. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We always do. Clem, honey. What's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? He didn't want me to save him. He was a dangerous person. Fuck. Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? 
What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, she was right. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? <sighs> okay, fuck. I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. God damn it. Uh, Clementine? 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 Clementine! What the fuck? Oh, God. <laughs> okay. What the... Oh, God damn it. For the record, I do feel bad about Ben. God damn it. Like, yeah, he caused issues. He did kind of pull the axe from the door, keeping it closed. Made a lot of dumb decisions. Still feel bad about it, though. But <sighs> Hello, Him? Well, how would that radio be here when we have the Oh my god. Fuck. Oh shit. Son of a bitch. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. This can't be real. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee! Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Oh, Lee? Shit. Where's Clementine? Uh, She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Is this a dream, or is this real? Clem may not have much time. 
We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. Thanks, team. Appreciate it. Really. You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? No fucking way. Lee actually got bit. Their supplies are gone. Shelves. They're gone. Their beds are gone. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Whew. What the fuck is happening? Oh, God. What? No. Oh, shit. Are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Hello, Lee. Retainer, who is this? Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Are you shitting me? Fuck. God damn it. Episode 5. No time left. Are you shitting me? Oh my god. It's all happening. It's all, it's all, it's all real? Oh my god. Are you fucking, oh my god. Lee got bit. What the fuck? And Clementine was taken, not by Vernon. I don't know if it's actually Vernon or if he just made a different name or if this is an actual different person. Like the text colors, just, I swear to fucking God. Ah. Uh, I hate this. I hate this. This is, oh my God. Ah, uh, okay. Focus. <laughs> the boy in the attic. Did you kill the boy in the attic? Twenty-five percent of players killed him. Really? Really? Seventy-five percent of players didn't. What does that mean? That's actually fascinating. 
That's a big, that's a big difference. That's a big difference in, right? Did you lie or threaten Vernon? Less than 50 other, 58% of players were rational and honest. Home Alone, did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? You and 55% of players brought her. Okay. It's pretty much right in the middle. Because, okay, let's be real. Like, want to protect, want to protect Clementine, it's easier to do that by keeping her with us. Right? Also, you know, she may be a kid, but she's smart. Right? She's pretty good at taking care of herself, and she has been very helpful. So, you know, she's not some, like, helpless child. <laughs> you know, that's just gonna, like, get herself killed. Right? So... I bring her with us. I still feel like it was a good idea. Did you let Ben fall to his death? Us and forty seven percent of players let him go. I I feel bad about that. Like the whole falling and breaking his legs and then him Kind of slowly being eaten. That 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 feels pretty shitty. And even though Ben has done a lot of dumb things, I I was I guess I could say like I was never against him. I was never like anti Ben, but he does keep. He has been making a lot of choices that have been making things a lot diff more difficult. And then of course in that moment he tells Kenny. Like, out of all moments, even Kenny's like, hey, whatever it is, like, save that shit for later. Whatever it is, even if it's bad. He's like, no, I have to tell you right now. That's like, Ben, like, I get it. It's boiling up inside of you. It, uh, yeah, not the best timing. But it was interesting. To see that he he made the decision himself to stay behind to be you know to basically him admitting not just to himself but to everybody just like yeah he's been making a lot of bad decisions he's been getting us into more trouble than we would have if we didn't have him and then you know him volunteering to stay behind so that the rest of us could get to safety. It's like, shit. Like, on a level, it's 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 commendable. It's a very, uh, I don't want to say, like, it's a very grown-up decision, but it was a very, um... It was a decision that Ben has not made... Like in the in the in the style, right? It's very. I don't know. It's a very noble last decision. Did you reveal your bite to the group? You and eighty-two percent players showed the bite. <sighs> it's actually real. Like that whole time, I was really hoping that I fell asleep on the couch. It's all a dream. It's all another dream, right? He's just, uh... Because he had the radio on him. And I'm like, we put the radio on the table when we went to sleep. <laughs> Something is not right. And then the radio was outside, and I'm like, that's strange. But I guess it, I guess it was like a fluke. I don't know. But yeah, then he got bit. And it's just like... I was really hoping it wasn't real. I don't... <sighs> I don't I don't even know what's going to happen to Lee at this point. I mean, we know what's going to happen to Lee, but... <sighs> what if we cut it off? What if we cut off his arm before the infection gets real crazy? Right? Is that a thing? No. 
Oh, I hate this. That's interesting. Who came with you? 13%. 10%, 12%, 16%, 11%, 14%, 18%, 19%, 20%, 21%, 22%, 23%, 24%, 25%, 26%, 27%, 28%, 29%, 30%, 31%, 32%, 33%, 34%, 35%, 10%, 12 16 11 14 18 and 6 so is this as far as like looking for clementine or just like the people we ended up with in general oh yeah 16% had been still 18% was just just lee and kenny that's interesting Six percent was just Lee. That's curious. Oof. Oh, but now, now we move on to chapter five. Chapter chapter five, episode five. Which I think is either the last chapter or the second to last. So I think there's like the 400 days or something like that after that too. But either way, I don't, I don't feel good about how this is all, all coming up right now. Like it sucks that Molly's not coming with us. Molly seemed great. Molly seemed great. I was suspicious, but you know, aside from that, she seemed fine. Right. Vernon, however, I don't know. I don't know. He seemed like a nice guy. And then we said, we basically told him, like, no, Clementine's going to stay with us. Like, you're not going to take her. Like, fuck that. <laughs> right? And also, like, not going to give Cal Clementine a say in any of this anyway? <laughs> Just... So I'm hoping that this, her being taken wasn't a result of that. But I don't know. <sighs> but then also we did tell Clementine that we wouldn't be able to have time to look for her parents. And she probably really want, she does really want to find her parents, right? So. I mean, what's to say she didn't go out on her own, took the radio, and ran out trying to find out who and where they are, and then ended up getting taken and have the whole, uh, the, the radio get dropped and everything right outside the fence. Well, this is an interesting scene. Oh, God. Okay. Well, well, shit. Okay. You know what? I wasn't thinking about it, but now he's worried. We're going to pick this up on the next episode. I know this one was a little bit shorter, but the next episode, because this is all gonna, also going to start with the recap, it's going to be perfect. And we're going to dive into episode five. Because this is... Uh, this is coming to a head. They've taken Clementine. Somebody has taken Clementine. Whoever this is on the radio. They may have be they may have her parents. They may not. This could all just be some big ruse. Who knows? Um, but they know about Lee. They know about us. They know that we arrived in Savannah. So it's like this weird thing. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like it. So we're gonna find out what the hell's going on in the next episode. Episode five. No time left. So let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Thank you again for watching. As always, I love reading your guys' thoughts on the on the story and the game and everything you have to say. So as we uh, as we approach what feels like closer to the end of season one, this game. So see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.